And hello everybody and welcome back to another toy review. And today we are going to be looking at Transformers Combiner Wars Scrapper. And I did change up a few things, if you don't mind me at, mind me uh, reminding you for the 100,000th time. Uh, I've reminded you guys many times, so this is probably not going to be a surprise to you or be new to you at all. But the thing I changed this time was I'm not going to be doing the G1 Constructicons with them. For two reasons. One, because then it'll save time and I can actually show off how to transform these guys in the Devastator video instead of in their own videos, which would be really annoying because someone would have to watch through every single video. But the uh, other thing is, because my dad's workroom was locked, and I just thought of it like this, and I was just, I was not going to wait to film it. So, I decided to do it like this. No one else really ever did it, too. Uh, if I do get Devastator back, though, I will compare the G1 Devastator to him. Uh, maybe in that video, I may, decom I may decombine them and uh, put them next to each other, but I will not show off how to transform them or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, you can also see I changed the camera for two reasons. Well, for two reasons. One, I was getting a bit of bored of the other one. Well, I pinched my leg. Excuse me. <laughs> but also because I wanted you guys to be able to see the Devastator box in the background. And as you can see, we have the rest of the Constructor Cons that will be featured later in the series. Uh, the next episode is going to be Hook, and then it's going to be uh, Mixmaster, and then Scavenger, and then Bone Crusher, and then Mixmaster, and then Devastator. I keep lifting the table. But yeah, I think that's about it. So as always, power for proton packs, fire for steam locomotives, start your DeLoreans, and let's transform and roll out. Also, I made a massive steam locomotive update. I may make another video later today showing that off, maybe. But I pretty much, in a way, yeah, I built an entire another frame. It is not like the big boy where it's meant to focus on the main, like the body frame itself, and Astro Train is just the boiler. This frame is ma mainly meant to focus on Astro Train himself. So it just has two wheels. It does have a cow catcher, and it does have a, the cab, which the cab has been heavily modified to accommodate the new frame. But it still does go on the uh, a big boy up there, which you can't really see. It's behind the firehouse. But yeah, you can also see, I added the firehouse. And the Constructicons do go by the firehouse, but uh, yeah. I'll show that off in another video. You guys already saw it on the background thing. But uh, yeah. Yeah, enough of that. Let's get into, let's get into the scrapper. So as you can see, we're going to take off his weapons. You see, the weapons I gave him, gave him was from the G1 toy. He had the little chest blade bit as a weapon in vehicle mode. So I gave him the little chest blades. So you can see here, beautiful sculpting. For this thing's time, These are this is pretty high quality for its time. And high detailing. Uh, Scrapper himself, very cool. One of my favorite constructor cons, as you can see here. Very good looking, in my opinion. Looks very good. Also... My birthday's coming up on the uh, on the 6th of next month, on August. I was really tied between either doing the Hearts of Steel universe, like the big poster picture, or the Devastator. I did finally decide it, and the, my picture on my cake is going to be of Devastator, the Combiner Wars box art version of Devastator. Uh, I was really tied between it because I was really into trains, and I also really like the Constructor Cons, but I did decide to do that because my mom sort of told me to do it because, a bit more because it would be a lot simpler to do. And it'd be a lot easier to find, but yeah, in a way, sort of, but yeah. But yeah, uh, you can see he does have a Decepticon logo on his little hood there. Let me see. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, you can see that there. Little the shovel bit, if you want. This is so Oh! Ow. Fuck. Hurt a lot. Ow. And damn. But uh, anyways, if you want to go G1 like uh, the original toy, you could flip up the bucket like that. Because it does just rest on the headpiece, and he does have big enough feet to where he'll hold it up. And it won't really fall down. Yeah, you can't really go G1 toy S because the bucket sticks out really far. So I prefer the new collapsable feature there. But yeah, I am going to show off posability on these guys, though. Just because, one, I love them so much that they deserve it. And two, they don't really have that much. And obviously, I have to mention this. I'm doing this figure years after he originally came out, so I have to do this. This is one thing people have complained about, and you know what I'm about to say. No freaking elbows. No elbows. Which it really makes me wonder, why it could ha why did Hasbro think back then they couldn't do it and just try to save money when Dakaras over here are able to do stuff like that and still have a lot of money? So that really just says that Hasbro back then was a cheap was were cheapskates. But yeah, they're much, they do a lot better now. Let me tell you. So, if they were to do another Devastator figure, which, if they did, I'm not going to get it. I'm perfectly happy with these Constructor Cons. But if they were to do another Devastator figure, that's the, definitely the one thing they really got to fix, is the elbows. There is an upgrade kit for it. I'm not going to get it. 
maybe, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm probably also gonna say something in the Mix Master video that's really gonna make people angry. It's about the vehicle mode and how I feel about it. People are probably not gonna like me too much for it. But yeah, I'll say that in the Mix Master video, which will be on, if Mix Master was his third one, he'll be, that his video will be on the 27th. But yeah, enough about everything else and this robot. Let's get into vehicle mode. So first what you wanna do is push the head down. You want to extend the bucket. You want to take the arms, flip them down. Oh yeah, uh, other possibility, he has leg movement, knees, and ankle movement as well. And that is it, that's literally it. Oh, uh, well, his head can turn left and right, can look down, can look up. Do a full 360 if you wished. Arms can do that as well. But yeah, that's uh, about it. Uh, vehicle mode. So you want to, actually here, you want to take these, don't push them together, simply, hold on, if you line them up right, Simply just slide them together, just like that. And you want to take the legs and flip them up. There are these little, hold on, let me try to get it. There's a little poster on the leg right there, and then it'll go into the hole right there on his leg. And then you simply want to take this, and you want to slot these back little bits here into his, his butt, his asshole. <laughs> so you'll push those in there like that. And then you want to take the arms, flip in the fist, and then just collapse it in, just like that. There are little slots there on the shoulder, and then when you collapse the arm in, there are little pegs that flip out, and you simply want to push those together. I'm moving the, the table thing, hold on. There we go. And uh, when you put all that together, there is a scrapper. And I'm sorry I'm wasting a lot of this runtime on just talking about updates and stuff. I know it's mainly about scrapper, but... Come on, it's it's the first episode, it's alright. But uh, yeah, you can see here is Scrapper. You can see he's just a cool little payloader, and I really like it. There's definitely an early learning center about it. Uh, reference to this, he was also Transformers reviews. I love that guy. But yeah, as you can see, very cool. I do like how the big the bucket is, because it makes more sense at this scale, because then, because the one, uh, construction vehicles are supposed to be big, so it makes more sense for them to be this big. And two, if you really wanted someone to, they could easily just... You take some junk from Devastator if you wanted to, and just throw it in there, and you can go carry it off and enjoy like that and dump it if you wanted to. It rolls quite nicely, surprisingly. Back then, Hasbro didn't really focus on vehicles or robot modes for individual characters. They really just focused on, you know, the big combiner. But yeah, and I'm going to talk about this. Hold on, wait. I was gonna, I swear I was going to talk about something, but I forgot. Oh yeah, this. I'm tired of people saying, and this is probably one of the big things people have really talked about with this figure. I am tired of people saying that he's too big. If we are going by realistic, like, scaled things in terms of Transformers and stuff like that, and regular vehicles and, like, stuff like that, the Constructicons should be probably one of, if not the biggest combiner. Have you seen how, what kind of dump truck long haul is? Right there, that guy right there. I'm trying to get my finger on him. Right there, that guy. Long haul should be dwarfing all those guys. Like, I'm pretty sure all of these guys are in scale, except for long haul. He is the only one who's not in scale. But yeah, I'm tired of people always saying he's too big and stuff, and pe some people have bought that knockoff version of Devastator that's underscaled. There's also like a yellow version, which... I wonder why they never did that for Devastator here. Because they did that for the Stunticons, where they released like a special G2 gift set for them. So I don't know why they never did that for Devastator. But yeah, all the details on the cab are very neat. You could turn the cab around, but again, that's more for combiner mode to help hold these in place since the long haul slot's right in there. But we'll talk about him later. Uh, Devastator's video is going to be coming out on the 5th of next month, so it's going to be a long time. See, little undercarriage, kibble, that's fine. We can, we can forgive it with a combiner. Uh, is a combiner limb also a triple changer? Here, I'll talk about it while I show up details. Is a triple, is a combiner, like, limb character a triple changer? Because technically they are, because, uh, they turn into a limb, a robot mode, and a vehicle. That's three modes. Hold on, let me show off the feet again. Beautiful sculpting there. But yeah, it, I don't know. Decepticon will go on the top there of the roof, but yeah. Oh yeah, if you wanted to as well, you can take the little post here on the butt of him. And for some reason, Scavenger can do this as well. I just learned that like a few days after I got him. I saw a video of this guy, and I was like, what? When could they do that? And you can see, if you're a G1 fan at heart like myself, you can put him like this. Weep! Oh, anyway. Weep! 
Ah, no, I'm kidding. I was using my hand. But yeah, if you wanted to give him wings, he could you could just simply flip up the bucket and you could go weep. But yeah, weep. But uh, but yeah. Anyways, that's pretty cool looking though. I do like that. Very nice that they did that. I'm surprised. The weird thing is, long haul, uh, yeah, long haul scrapper and scavenger are the only ones who can hold weapons. Mixmaster, hook, and bone crusher are completely defenseless, as far as I know. I've seen every video on these guys. I've never seen in one video. Hold on. I've never seen in one video uh, someone put weapons on Hook, Mixmaster, and Bone Crusher. It's always uh, ever been only Scavenger, Scrapper, and uh, Long Haul. I used to think it was only a uh, Scrapper and Long Haul, but then I learned Scavenger later, and I was like, what, what was that thing? Bucket does get a bit scraped up there on the bottom there, sadly, but that's just how it's going to be. But yeah. Beautiful sculpting on him. See right there. Beautiful sculpting. Very, very ahead of its time. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One thing I didn't show off in the robot mode. Here, I'll show that off in a minute. Because now we are going to get to the outro. But, yeah. Overall. <laughs> sorry. Joke on my own lava. Ugh. But, yeah. Overall, the uh, Scrapper is a very cool character. And he's definitely, in my opinion, the leader. Hook, in my opinion, is the second in command. Scrapper is the first. Which, again, never really made sense because he's a leg. But, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the one-piece articulation I didn't really show off is more for combiner mode. Uh, you can do that if you wish. You can make him go like that. But, yeah, if you want to do that, you totally can. But, yeah, Scrapper, very cool little figure. Definitely love him. Uh, funny enough, though, in the Transformers G1 comics, let's talk about those real quick, uh, apparently, uh... All the Constructicons were depicted in each comic or another, or like at least once or twice, maybe. They were depicted as being uh, the leader, all of them, one time or another. But for some reason, apparently Long Haul never was. And I never knew why, because like Long Haul made up literally most of the Combiner. Like I swear, Long Haul at least made up 90, like 80 to 90% of the Combined Mode. He made up the majority of it. So I never knew why he was never the leader. And he's also the biggest vehicle mode, and also the main torso unit. Do not say Hook is also. Hook is the top half of it. He's like he's like here to up here. Long haul is like from here all the way down to the like almost like a, to here on my thighs. Like for my shorts there. Let's see. Yeah, like that. But yeah. Uh I think that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. I'm super excited for the future of this series. So as always, I will see you in the next toy review. Bye-bye.